Okay guys, welcome back. A glorious morning on the Dimcraft server. So we are starting a new big project today. I've already been sort of playing a little bit off camera. Um, I really need to make decent stairs there to be honest. Um, what we're going to do, as you can see, nice big tower there. We're going to be making our creeper farm today. Um, I've already sort of laid out the base of it and where it's going to be sitting. That there is about the optimal height to be able to give us spawns. And if you look just in that doorway there, I believe there is a mob there. So our farm is working before we even get it working. That's not a bad shout, to be honest. Um, so yeah, so this is going to be our creeper farm. It's going to be a very simple design. We're going to stick a cat in the middle of it. We're going to put some carpet around on the inside, dotted around to stop spider spawns. And then we're going to have them drop down and I'm going to extend this AFK platform out here to put some chests and some hoppers and that will then catch our drops. The creepers will fall down and they will fall down. Oh, it's dim. It's not a, not a creeper at all. It's a flying dim. Um, yeah, so we're going to, we're going to catch some drops into the hoppers, put some magma there. The creepers will die on there and we just AFK there and, uh, yeah, we'll, get ourselves some uh, gunpowder, make ourselves rich on the server. Well, that's the plan anyway. Um, so yeah, so basically what we're going to do is we're going to, inside this little mountain here, we've got a little bit of a glitch going on in the terrain there. Uh, we're going to make a, a bubble elevator that takes us up to the bottom here. We've got a ladder that runs up this main main chute here. We've got another little one that runs up onto the actual platform, but we won't really be using that very much um, because obviously that will be inside the actual spawner. So we don't really want to be in there. Uh, that will just mean death. And as you can see from the end from last night, I now have 24 deaths. So let's try and keep it under 30 for the whole season. That would be nice. I'm probably not going to make that to be honest, but we'll, we'll, we'll try our best. So yeah, so we're going to, um, we're going to complete this farm. I will come back when I've done a little bit more to it. Uh, probably stick a roof on there and then we'll go and craft up a load of, um, trapdoors. But uh, I'll come back and I'll show you what we've done in a bit. Okay, guys, we're uh, getting a little bit of a glow on here. We've uh, we've built the the encapsulating spawner up the top there, and Dim has done an amazing job of finding us a cat, which let's fingers crossed is still up in here. Uh, no, it's teleported to her. Yeah, I thought that might happen. That's a bummer. Oh no, there it is. It's a, it was blended in with the torch. There was me thinking it had gone and teleported and it was still sat there. Oh, I'm sorry, Ginge. We've got to go and get you a name tag, haven't we? Um, yeah, we best get him a name tag thinking of it because it might despawn. Hmm. Anyway, so the cat will end up actually sitting on this block here. We will then place trapdoors around to stop the, uh, creepers from running in and bumping the cat and pushing it out of the way. So uh, we will end up sticking um, uh, some trapdoors in there for that. We just need to chuck these in here. That helps with the pathfinding of the creepers. It stops them from getting stuck in the corners. And um, yeah, so we've got to get some trapdoors and stick some trapdoors on the roof. And then uh, we're going to next, we're going to build the chutes down to the AFK platform. That will take a little bit of effort, but we will get there. Um, it's not too bad. We will, we will get going. Now you will notice I am down to seven levels and I have a spare slot in my hot bar. That be because I've just fallen off of the AFK platform and gone skaplooey all over the floor and my stuff went everywhere. And considering we are on a mountain, you can imagine just the nice little debris field that we had from where I went splat. And my base actually looks pretty cool once that. Yeah, look at that, all lit up there. Look, that looks pretty smart. Just goes to show you, if you look at that, how big our house is, right? We know how big our house is. And then you look at the kelp farm. That kelp farm is huge. I mean, it dwarfs everything. And I am so glad that we decided to build that behind that little facade. Um, yeah, wow. 
That is pretty cool. Anyway, so now next we need to, to build ourselves um, the platform. So, oh, sorry, not the platform, the chute. So if we come out and then we'll put some blocks along the side here like so. And then same on this side. And then we need to stick some blocks around like so. And then we come back in and then these blocks here to seal it off. And then we're going to go down to the bottom and we will then build our way back up from the bottom. Um, however, that's going to be that one there. Right, yeah, so that's pretty much what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to then get some trapdoors and we're going to stick some trapdoors there and some trapdoors on this side. That then makes it look like a full uh, sort of block that the, the creepers can run onto. They will see those as full blocks and then run down and they will fall down our chute onto our magma where we will have some minecarts with some magma pushed into them. Um, and yeah, they will catch all of our drops and hopefully we will be in the money. So yeah, there you go, guys. That's a, a little update for you. Um, we need to go name our little pretty tat so that he doesn't despawn. Um, and yeah, I will give you an update a bit later on. And that's it, guys. We are now finally done. Oh, it's just a big mass of cobblestone. Uh, I've put these around here to stop me falling off the edge because I have died twice. Um, so yeah, this is this is our creeper farm. It is basically um, a cat sat right in the middle. The cat is sat just at the top of this this pole, this this tower here. The cat sits just there, and then there's trapdoors around it to stop it from being pushed. And then there's carpet dotted around in there. And that basically stops spiders from spawning, because we don't want spiders. We're not interested in spiders for this one. Um, what it then does is uh, the creeper spawns. It then sees the cat and then runs for the nearest exit. And the nearest exit are the chutes that we've made here. And then what it does is it runs to there. It sees the trapdoors that we've put there as a full block. Um, so it then runs into the hole, falls down, hits the magma, um, and then just takes full a bit of full damage and then magma damage until it dies. And as you can see, I'm sure we've got some. Yeah, we've got some drops, and we've only we've only literally just finished building this um, and opened the doors for it to start coming through, and we're already getting drops. So I would suggest that that is actually a pretty good farm. It's uh, gonna, I'm going to AFK overnight. Uh, we've got a platform just a bit further down, um, just there, and that's where I'll sit for the night. Um, but from the looks of the fact that we've only just finished um, messing about with the, the farm, it actually looks like it is going to be a pretty good farm. So I'll, uh, I'll give you an update tomorrow. Um, when I've when I've had the knights AFK, let's hope the server doesn't kick me off the the, the server tonight. Um, it has done for the past couple of nights, so we uh, will fingers crossed that we stay online tonight and we AFK and we get a good AFK session in. And then I guess it will be a case of then having to build our shop to to sell our rockets in. Um, we all now have a litra, uh, and so I think we really do need to get our fingers out and get this. This farm um, producing enough gunpowder that we can create some decent amounts of rockets. Um, I'm hoping, depending on the drops that we get, I'm hoping that one double chest for a couple of nights AFK will be plenty of space. Um, I mean, they have got several different um, chests and chutes to fall into, so there is actually quite a lot of storage here. So we'll uh, we'll we'll catch up tomorrow and we'll see what we've got. I'm guessing you would have noticed by now that I have red and white concrete uh, powders in my inventory. This is because we are now set to set up our rocket shop.
Now I've gone with the flight duration three because if I'm honest, you'd use up so much more rockets in the duration one, uh, getting around everywhere. So we had a, a world a little while ago now, maybe a year ago, um, where we had Elytra and we were using rockets and we decided that the flight duration three were the better way to go. So what we're doing is, as you can see, I've started laying a few of the blocks out up here now. We're going to build a shop. Now this shop is going to be red and white concrete powder um, because, you guessed it, it's a rocket shop. So uh, yeah, we're going to make it look a little bit like a rocket and I'm not quite sure what we're going to call it yet. Um, maybe the Hulk, Hulk takes off or it's a flying Hulk or something, something along them lines. Um, but yeah, so what we'll do is we'll lay all the concrete powder and then to turn it into concrete we just pour a bucket of water over the top of it and it dribbles down and then we'll turn it all into concrete for us. Um, as you can see it is starting to, to take shape here. Um, I've dropped a couple of letters into the post boxes to say that the rockets are now for sale, one stack for a diamond, um, just in case we don't get the shop completed. Okay, so after beavering away and creating lots of red and white concrete powder to make concrete and our shop is now complete. Voila! Looks like a mini rocket. Although I should have gone up one more level just so I had another band of red, but eh, it looks alright. So we've got uh, a floating concrete block. I love that. So yeah, we've uh, we've made ourselves a little rocket shop. Um, I'm pretty sure the other dim crafters will know what it is. Um, it's not too difficult, I don't think. Um, I've tried to make it sort of very simple, whereas these were more technical build, like lots more detail. This is just purely, this is for your rockets. Come get your rockets. Now, she will go kaplush, and uh, you will go up, up, and a splat. This is Hulk's blasting rockets, and that's trademarked to Lilia, so nobody nick that. That's uh, that's hers. Uh, and squish like grape, because yeah, you tend to go squish like grape. Although I haven't actually experienced kinetic energy yet, I will do. I am sure. Um, yeah, so that's uh, that's our shop done. Uh, it looks like Dim has marked out some new plots here. Um, she started putting in the, the path which looks pretty cool up here with the sandstone although I'm feeling a bit left out because she's got some nice steps pointing towards her way and I've just this minute noticed that Wits has got a nice set of steps this way um, Dim, where's my steps? I mean, let's be honest, I've got the most shops here I've done the most work, where is my steps? I do not see any steps No, nope, no steps there so, yeah, I'm going to be going on to Dim about that. Uh, where's my steps, Dim? No, nope, there's definitely none around here. Maybe I'm just blinking and I'm missing them. But anyway, guys, that's the uh, the rocket shop done. We've uh, chucked a few stacks into each of these chests. We've given them a, a one stack per diamond um, price tag. I think we no need to get too greedy because these will sell, I'm pretty sure, like hotcakes. Um, so... We just basically now need to AFK at our creeper farm to get our gunpowder and we're uh, we're in the money. I've managed to keep ourselves uh, a few stacks back just in case uh, for us as well. Um, but also just in case we sell out in there, we've got a couple just that we can say we've got a couple spare. Um, but yeah, there you go guys. Rocket shop. All done. So I thought while we're up here, after we've uh, completed our little build... Um, We've got no mail. Um, I thought that what we'll do is have a quick check of our other shop to see whether we've made any sales. Um, nope, none of them. Kelp, we need to chuck a few more blocks in really. Ooh, we've made some diamonds. Look at that. Yeah. Oh, we've got a couple more spaces here we can fill up. So we've got two, five, eight, five, six, seven. Yeah, we'll bring seven or eight blocks over, or stacks, and uh, we'll, we'll restock that, get that going. Uh, nothing of the stone, and uh, surprise, surprise, nothing of the fish. So, yeah, cool, we've made some diamonds, guys. That's uh, not a bad start. Um, come on, Dim Crafters, I'm sure you can stretch into your pockets a bit further and get me some more money. Um, I think this is going to make us a lot of money, to be honest. So, yeah, there we go. Perfect. Okay, guys. 
So it's been a couple of hours since we've been AFK, um, since we finished building that rocket shop. Um, we went out and done a few things and come back and I've just decided to come back on and have a quick look around. And we've got some drops, which is pretty good. Not bad for a couple of hours. Um, looks like we've killed a good few creepers in here. Nice, we like that. Um, yeah, and I had to light it up because I came up in here and uh, literally as soon as I got here, turned round and a creeper was here and exploded. Now, a little bit ironic considering I'm killing them all, they decided to spawn down here. So I've just spammed this place with as many torches as I could possibly be bothered to spam it with. So now there should be no places for the creepers to spawn. So let's go and have a look at the shop because I know that the other two have been online since we uh, created our rocket shop. Let's go and see whether or not they've dabble in our shop. Um, I know they've gone back offline now, but uh, that's fine. We can go and see whether or not they've made any purchases in uh, Hulk's blasting rockets. So, uh, yeah, let's have a little look. So we've got nothing in there. Oh, we've been brought out in that one. Ah, oh, another three in that one. Look at the shiny little orbs of goodness. Nice. Seven diamonds and the shop's only been open a couple of hours. Hey, eh? that is impressive. I think we certainly need to AFK. Does that mean he's... Yeah, he's been in and got his, his elytra. So I think this may have been wits. So, um... Yeah, I think we need to be making sure that we stock up. Um, that will be my daughter's phone going off. Um, we need to stock up on our gunpowder and make sure we can keep keep the demand um, suppressed. So uh, these elytras are really pain in the bum to get going on a one thirteen. So uh, so yeah, so that's that's a pretty good start, I would say. Uh, let's go and drop these diamonds off because we don't want to lose those and um, we're getting pretty good with some diamonds now uh, look at that add them to them beautiful we really need to get our levels to get that sword going again i think we we might have to go fishing tomorrow and, and get ourselves some levels yeah so quick update on our little area here uh, we've been doing odd little bits every now and again here um as and when we're, we're around we just do a little bit we, we've made the floor a little bit prettier. We've started making these blocks here uh, less cobblestoney, a little bit more brick, more like a, a prettier, a prettier stone. And just around the side here, we've we've sort of made our path here. Uh, let's extinguish Mr. Creeper there. Um, and yeah, so we we kind of made a, a path coming out of there. Um, what we've done around here is oh, I can hear phantoms. Uh, that's because I haven't slept for a while. Um, yeah, we made the floor sort of a little bit more pretty, a little bit more broken up. As you can see, we extended our sugar cane farm quite a lot. Uh, this one was giving us a good amount, but it wasn't really producing the uh, the quantity that we, we wanted and that we needed. So, um, yeah, I, I just used the rest of my observers and pistons that I had. I uh, had to make up another load for the top here. Um, so Dim's come in and she's she's stuck all of this dark oak and the uh, sea lanterns in everywhere to just light it up, make it look a bit nicer. And uh, yeah, I think she's done a, a great job there. We we uh, we are very happy with that. So I've AFK'd here for two nights to get the kelp farm going because we're going to use this in our um, auto smelter, our mega smelter when we get around to it. So. Uh, we've been AFKing here for quite a bit and we filled up the double chests um, and they were all spinning on top of the hoppers. So I decided that it was time to sort that out. So I've created this uh, this hopper line, uh, which will get covered up with the, the brick again uh, to make it all pretty and hidden away. Um, but they both link up to the same hopper line, which goes into our little storage chests here. Um, I didn't go too crazy with it. Um, this will all have the, the stone brick above it to make it a little bit prettier looking at um and yeah so we've we will sort of change all of this up as well i think we're going to go with stand, sandstone just to, to brighten it up a little bit in here um but yeah that, that'll be a job for another day to to make all of this sandstone we may just put it over the top to be honest and 
make it look a little bit shallower in here, but it will certainly do the part. Um, yeah, so our little hopper line here, it uh, it runs around and comes around to a dropper uh, or dispenser elevator that goes up through some glass that's behind here. If I can just break this one, you can see the glass there. Um, there you go. So when our items come in, they come into the, dis the, the dispenser here. They go through up here, our little elevator here, up into that water. That water runs along that top set of hoppers. It kind of sits along the top of it. So it, it runs the, 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 the goods into the, the hopper line. That hopper line then um, comes down. And I uh, don't know if you know much about hopper um, uh, technology, but it sort of basically, instead of pushing it straight into the chest, it looks for a hopper underneath it. It then pushes it to that hopper. And then when that hopper is full, it then pushes it to the next one and so on, so on until it fills up. So as you can see, we are doing pretty well with the sugar cane. Uh, we've got a couple of good chests going there. Um, so when the hoppers behind these two chests completely fill up, it will then move to this one and then this one and then start again on this row. So I decided it was about time we, we, we put a decent storage unit in here for the sugar cane simply because we are AFKing here quite a bit and I'm not using as much um, of the sugar cane at the moment because we've got a pretty good stock of rockets over at the shop. So uh, so yeah, so we, we've just basically added in this little bit here. I thought I'd show you what we'd done. Um, now the redstone, the redstone's pretty a clever redstone circuitry. Um, that one, we best put these back actually because that's part of the circuit. Um, so the comparator there is in uh, subtract, goes into the block, there's a bit of redstone dust in front of this block, which then powers all through here into this comparator and then back into itself. That basically makes this dispenser automatic. So it will sit there dormant whilst there's nothing around, but as soon as you put something into it, uh, so this hopper here pushes into there with the sugar cane, that will then automatically fire the dispenser, push the, the the goods up the elevator there, the glass elevator, into the water and into the into the system. Now, when there are nothing uh, needing to go through, then everything turns off and the dispenser just sits there dormant, which is, is pretty good. So if I stick something in there, there you go, you see it, it clicked. Um, that will now come through and here it is. So yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty good. So what we might do actually is if we grab these bits here is just chuck them in there. That helps tidy that up a bit there. Um, but yeah, so I thought I'd show you what we'd, uh, what we'd done here, uh, before we closed it all up. Uh, there is absolutely no reason for us to have to come in here. So, um, I'm going to put some blocks in here and tidy this up and, and then start the, the task of tidying up where I've put all these hoppers here. Uh, put the bricks back in and yeah that will uh, that will tidy it up a treat and make it look a bit nicer a little bit prettier and there you go guys so we've built a creeper farm and we have built our rocket shop um, I've had a few days out since uh, the last clip um, but I've come up and I've I've chucked some bushes in to make it a little bit tidier make it look a little bit more um, like it was purposely built and not just a quick throw a couple of blocks down kind of deal and a few sort of grass blocks here to to get some grass and some flowers going um but yeah so we've uh we've completed that um i've been afking a lot let me tell you a lot um but now we have a oh we've made some sales uh we've ma we've made a, a massive stock of rockets um now so I don't I don't think we need to worry too much about our stock oh, it's thundering mm. best uh, we best wrap it up there then so uh, thanks for watching guys and if you like this video please uh, like the video and subscribe and I will see you in the next one thanks very much guys Tra.